My name is Jamez Staples. I'm the principal of Renewable Energy Partners, and we're on the rooftop of the Regional Apprenticeship Training Center in North Minneapolis. I want to start Renewable Energy Partners because I'm a resident of North Minneapolis, one of the most economically challenged areas in Minneapolis. I graduated just a few blocks from here. I have friends that still live in the neighborhood like I do, and I saw that they weren't necessarily having the best opportunities out here, so I wanted to create jobs. The clean energy revolution is upon us. Uh, we know that this is a huge opportunity, and we know that there's a substantial level of workers that will be needed for this industry. And I felt like we need to leverage that to make sure that we're including everybody, which means that people of color and people that have not necessarily traditionally been engaged in the energy industry. Renewable Energy Partners was birthed out of that, and the goal has been to develop solar projects and vertically integrate so that we're also an installer and create those jobs. The building here itself uh, is a manifestation of the fact that there wasn't any training within access to the community. And the, the neighborhood to me is, is it's a gym where it's a predominantly African-American community. And we haven't had a lot of investment here. And that's, that's investment in the infrastructure or the people. And what this project does is it starts to balance the scales to some degree. It, doesn't, it can't address all the issues of the state, but what it can do is it can become a place where people can come and get the skill sets that are needed. The intended use of this space here is engage, educate, train, and then eventually get these folks hired. And this is just one space, right? We plan to develop across the street also into an 80 to 100,000 square foot facility that will expand on this. The intent of all that is to make it a living laboratory for STEM training, so science, technology, engineering, and math, so that students can start to understand in real time what these things look like and how they operate, how they work. I think it's imperative that we make sure that we build in the opportunity for the youth as well as the, the equity component. Energy is a foundational tool of, of the way we live. So the key is at least let them know that this is here for them. Show them there's an opportunity to engage, right? How can we get them to come to this site, think it's a cool place to be, cool place to hang out, and, and learn at the same time, and then get their, some of their curriculum and programming that's necessary for them to graduate and move on to the next level. What this is for me is it's, an, it's a way to give back to the community. Um, I see that a lot of people are focused just on making money, and I think that we can do two things at one time. We can make sure that everybody's included. And actually, I'm looking for a triple bottom line, which is also addressing climate change and poverty. So I consider myself a social entrepreneur. People kind of freak out at the social word, right? But I think it's absolutely imperative that we make sure that we think about our neighbors and our friends and our community as we're imp implementing new technologies and we're bringing in new ways of doing things. So getting the right people that believe in the vision and see the value of what it is that we are trying to bring because it's not just a I thing, it's a we. I've always believed in myself and I'm a spiritual person. I've always believed in God and whenever something's on my heart, I go for it. It was just sheer commitment because I know that my community, my people, my neighborhood, you know, the city will be stronger, not just because of this project, but because of the energy that it will provide for those that see and, and start to believe in themselves. So for me, it's not about me. It's more so about just starting to demonstrate how it is that we can ultimately show the change that we want to see. What I would say to the youth of today is, is do not be discouraged of what you're seeing now. You are the voice of change and that you have the ability to do amazing things and don't let anybody tell you any different. And whatever it is that you wanna do, channel that energy, focus, and overcome every obstacle and never, never quit. Mm -hmm.